In this video, we are going to see how we can create a BIM object using Blender and a particular add-on called Blender Beam. With the Blender Beam add-on or plugin, we can actually export and use uh, Beam formats or IFC formats together with Blender. So the, the, the objective here is to get the BIM open source so we can click here and download Blender Beam for free. It's an open source and free add-on. And if we want to get to this page here, just type Blender Beam and access the add-on here. So you can read all the details and the information or you can click directly here. Now this is an alpha version, so it's not uh, definitive, it's not complete and you can check for updates okay so you click here if you want to download it for windows for mac or for linux and you're gonna find here a zipped folder in your downloads folder that you're gonna have to install so uh, let's see how we can use it in blender of course you have to have blender downloaded and installed as well so if you don't know what blender is it's an open source 3D modeling tool, so you can just type Blender on our YouTube channel, you will find other video guides, also how to download and install Blender and other video guides about Blender materials and so on. Okay, so I've already, of course, installed Blender and this is kind of a, a column that I have created in order to export it in IFC format and using in BIM or BIM. Now, to to make you understand better what we are talking about, this is a format that it's used in architecture. So if we search for building information modeling, this is what we are actually talking about. So you can find all the information about this type of, uh, well, kind of uh, management tool in architecture. So it's not like CAD, computer aided at design, but it's more complex. And the best software for, for this is Autodesk Revit. And it's for architecture again. Or probably you will know about this if you are uh, getting into this video. And also we are talking about IFC, which is a particular format used in BIM. So if we search for IFC BIM, there you go. It's uh, industry foundation classes. And again, you can get all the advanced information here, but basically it's a format for interoperability between different software and to, to get this uh, like a standard for uh, more soft, uh, different platforms and so on. But you can get all the information here. Let's get to the practice. So this is the Blender. Let me open a new file so that we can start all over so it's gonna be general and this is how it's gonna look when you first open up blender and you have to install the plugin first if you didn't yet and if you don't know how to install a plugin it's pretty simple you go to the edit preferences and here you you have to find the plugin so you click on install search it in your download folder usually or in another folder on your computer and this is the file here and then you click install add-on that's all you need to do once you do that it will it will appear here if it doesn't appear just search it in this uh, search bar blender beam there you go and the first time this is gonna be unchecked so make sure that this is checked like that okay and then you're good to go now, this is not an automati uh, automatically updating add-on. You need to uninstall if you want to upgrade. Uh, each time they are going to release a new version. And to also, to uninstall, you need to disable the add-on and then you can uninstall it. And, well, that's basically it. So, um, install it. And once you install it, you're going to find some information here on this tab at the right so if i close these you can see they you have 
IFC project, IFC search, and many more IFC stuff here inside. So if I want to create a BIM column or architecture column, I can start with my cube here. And just as I did in the previous example, I can uh, extrude this, for example, with the modeling tools. Let's uh, select here the faces. And I want to get this face here. And, well, get it up. All right. And also we can maybe do some other stuff. Let's try to extrude just a little bit here and scale this just to do something a little bit more complex. Okay, and then extrude again. Okay, so this is, looks like a column or a pillar, something like that. Okay, now I have to export my pillar. So let's get back to normal layout. This is my, well, let's change the name here. Let's call it pillar. Okay, and now what I need to do is go here again in my um, scene properties panel, go to IFC project and create project. All right, now you can see I have created things here inside my uh, navigator, in my scene explorer, and now I will click and drag this with the left here in the ground floor. Okay, and this will create this uh, kind of a instance here. Okay, and now I need to go into my uh, object properties, so right here, and go down here, and now it's telling me that this is a um, EFC element, and the class here, I want to change this. So I would click here and say that this is a EFC column, so I need to look for the C, there you go. And then I say assign EFC class, right there. So this is the, the basic that we need to do to create an IFC object. Now we need to export it. So we can go to file and also we can import and export with this plugin. So it's not only import, uh, sorry, not only export, but also import. So in this case, we're going to export and let's export this again in industry foundation classes. Click here select a place where you want to save it. In my case, I already did once this operation, so I'm going to make, again, pillar, custom pillar, and export. And there you go. That's all you need to do to make, actually, a BIM or IFC format file here. Now, to view this, you can try you can use any IFC viewer, and I've chosen Autodesk viewer, but you can also use, for example, well, any BIM application, or yeah, yeah, IFC uh, viewer, actually. Okay, now I want to upload a new file, and select the file, and just select my custom pillar IFC, and open it up. Now I just need to wait for the file to be uploaded, and then I can view this file here. Now you can also, of course, view more complex scenes, but this is just an example. Again, this is called Autodesk Viewer. You can search it and you can just access this by using your Autodesk account. If you don't have one, you need to create one. And also there are other viewers out there. Probably we are going to make more videos about this topic later on. So please subscribe to the channel, our YouTube channel here, subscribe or join if you want to support us you can also click these links at the top right if you want to support us or in the about page at the bottom you will find more links to support us or the store or the community page or you can check other video courses in the playlist at the top english video courses or other videos that we publish every day okay now let's jump back to the autodesk viewer and there's my column right there so i 
or pillar. Now I can use Autodesk Viewer here. I can change the various, um, I can use different views here. I can check the properties and you can define all this information. This is how uh, BIM is, is done or building information modeling is model on information. So you get all the information stored into a model then then you can share you can use in many platforms you can also take a screenshot you can share you can do a lot of stuff here with the viewer and also measure and other things like that so this will be all for this video so again if you would like it please subscribe and leave your comments questions suggestions thanks for watching see you in the next video